Hey, what is happening guys? LeBron Games here, and welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. In the last episode, we made our way through the beginning part of An Orlando. Um, we unlocked two bonfires, one with the Firekeeper, I can't recall her name. Um, and we also got the bonfire, what the fuck is going on with my legs? We also got the bonfire at the bottom of the uh, like rotating uh, s stairs or platform or whatever. Um, and then we used the peculiar doll, which we picked up back in the Undead Asylum, to access this level here, the Painted World of Ariamis. Um, and I just want to point out, you know, this level is completely optional. You don't have to do it. But... You know, it's it's a fun area. It's definitely different. Um, up there is the shortcut. But just like with every other, you know, shortcut, you know, does not open from this side. So we'll be opening it a little bit later. And I also wanted to point out that there's a rope right there that had a, uh, it had a corpse hanging from it. But in the original attempt at this recording, I was interrupted by a phone call that I had to take. But yeah, you just uh, use your bow, shoot the rope, corpse falls, and it's just a uh, it's just a humanity, nothing special. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out. And so because the shortcut is blocked, we have to come up this way. Now this part can be a little tricky because you got an archer here. Let's see if I can see him. Yeah, up there at the top of the stairs, there's another archer. And so this part can be just a little difficult, but... And just like with the hollows at the uh, asylum, these guys hit quite a bit harder. And we have a new enemy here. There's these hollows with a fucking torch. And if you don't kill them with range, they'll inflict toxin on you. And luckily I already put my blooming purples on my bar down here. Um, oh shit, forgot about you. Okay, there's an item out there which we're about to go grab. But I also want to point out that in the original attempt I came down here there's uh, two rats motherfucker oh I hit both of them and in the corner here on this corpse is a soul of brave warrior which I already grabbed um, let's see back up the stairs here I'm trying to remember oh yeah we gotta go this way there's another path off to the side here. Now up at the top here, oh shit. We're gonna have another new enemy. They are harpies and they're not particularly tough, you know, especially with our nasty fucking sword, but yeah, if you s come out to a certain point, can't remember which one they'll fly off of. I think it's those ones right there. Or maybe you have to grab the item here. Let me see. Soul of a Proud Knight. Yeah, here she comes. Nice. Ah, shit. Yeah, they have that nasty move. Let's go over here, heal. Oh my god, I almost fell off. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. They had like a fucking sliver of health. Um, yeah, I think it's only those two that come down, but 
In order to get the item, we just carefully drop twin humanities, and then, yeah. Just drop down again. Tiny bit of fall damage, but that's okay. Uh, let's see here. I believe that's it for this part. Uh, there's another archer out there. We'll go deal with him real quick. There's these two. Yeah, these guys like to shoot fireballs at you. Because they're dicks. Um, this is not the way to get this item. Uh, no matter how it looks. There's another way which we will be taking. And since there's a few of them in this room here, we're just going to deal with the toxin for now. trade the hit uh, let's see here I think that's all of them oh no there's this one here too uh, I know you can make the jump but here uh, I don't want to waste the oh no we gotta jump that way There we go. Soul of Brave Warrior. Get this asshole. Oh shit, we're about to die. There we go. Get rid of the toxin. Heal. Man, I kind of wish I'd kindled that bonfire. And I don't want to go reset the whole level. Just to do that. Um, okay, yeah. Once you get across here. Just be careful. We got the egg vermifuge. Now, what that does is, if you remember when we were back, um, after we fought Quelag, and there was these, uh, there were those um, those hollows with like the eggs on their back. That is a status called Egghead, which it's a um, it's a debuff. I can't remember exactly what it does, but. The only way to get rid of it is with that item, the Egg Vermifuge. Uh, so, yeah, having one of those in our inventory is not too bad, because we'll deal with them a little later on in the Demon Ruins again. But before we progress, like, further, come down this ladder here. There we go. deal with that guy another white rat here's another one always check the rats because they're uh, they're they drop humanities pretty frequently here is the painting guardian set I don't think there's anything in here, but you can fall down here, so, yeah, if you end up down here, luckily there's a way to get out. Alright, we're gonna keep on going. Yeah, I really wish I'd kindled that bonfire, I'm down to eight. And these enemies are hitting pretty hard. Uh, let's see here. I forgot about the little ambush there. Yeah, right down there is where we were. So, like I said, you can fall and if you do, it's not the end of the world. Okay, now this is normally where we go to progress, but before we do that, there is something I want to point out over here. Um, I don't think there's anything off to the sides here. Yeah, there's another path down here that we're going to be taking. But over here, we have a... Undead dragon. 
Now, the easy way to deal with him is to literally just pull him over to this part. And what you can do is just run up, smack his hands, and see, he'll spew out his, like, poison. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Move, damn it. Yeah. Fuck it, we'll drink two. Let's see, what's he doing? Okay, so what you can do is just kind of go back and forth and, like, literally switch hands. And before he does the swipe, we'll see what he does. Okay. He's down to one hit. We got him. What'd you drop? Oh, dragon scale. Duh. Okay. Now, there is technically a shortcut here. How do you get it to move? Hang on. There we go. Yeah, you gotta do the two-handed jumping attack. Now, yeah, you can get the legs to stand up. I don't know why this is this way, but what you can do is, yeah, get the legs to stand up, and this is the path to the boss. And as I said, it's completely optional. And when you get to the boss area, you don't even have to fight her. You can just leave. So if you really don't want to do the whole level, you can just do this, you know, get the dragon legs to stand up, you know, it's, it's a good fall, so you'll take some damage, but, um, yeah, and then you can just run straight into the boss arena and just, you know, literally go right past her. So, but we're not going to do that. We're, we're going to fight her. Now, let me see here. That is how we get to the next part. So first, what we're going to do is come back up this way. Now, as you're going through here, the harpies will come get you. So... Okay, so they're taking three hits for me to kill right now. Yeah, and if you get lucky, sometimes they'll fall. See that one? She fell and died. Run up here. Grab the red sign, soapstone. And then you want to come right to about here. And this is where you want to drop down because you'll take the least amount of damage. And then we got another soul item there. Uh, let me see here. Drop down again. A little bit of fall damage, but it's okay. Hmm, there's an item down there. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything else. This is where we came in. So, uh, what we're gonna do now is we go around this way. Yeah, we'll grab that item in here in a second. We can't get it yet. Uh, yeah, come down here. Let's see. Over here in the corner, got another soul item. Come over this way. And let's see, is there anything down there on that level? I don't think there is. No, okay. Uh, 
da, 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 da. let me see here. There's a harpy around here somewhere. There she is. Gotcha. Yeah, the only thing you really gotta watch out for with them is their jump attack. I mean, they still hit kinda hard, but you know what? I don't think there's a way to get out of here except for... You'll definitely die if you try to take that way. I think we can survive this fall. You know what? Here, I'm going to jump to that level right there first. Okay. Yeah. So, we'll just have to loop around again. No big deal. back through here and then we're gonna take this other path and that's how you get down to the bottom here without taking any fall damage this is the door that leads out to the boss area but first we need a specific key go and traverse the white light which takes us down into the courtyard this is the phalanx which as you can see it's just a bunch of dudes oh shit I forgot they throw spears first we're just gonna run past them oh bullshit oof that was a close one we're gonna heal now they're incredibly slow ow and yeah that shield they have is kind of thick so if you hit it you'll just bounce off And the trick to these guys is to just kind of circle around them. Avoid the shields. And just take them out. And this is actually a decent little soul farm. And I'll point out why here in a second. Because first of all, they are fairly easy to kill. Uh, and this is the shortcut back to the bonfire. So, yeah, Phalanx is an okay soul farm right here. Um, there's a graveyard down there. We're going to go there in a second. But first... Oh shit, we missed that item. Okay, hang on, we'll go back up to it. Oh god damn it. Another ring of sacrifice. Actually, we don't even have to go up to that item. So, it's actually hanging on a chain again, and normally what you could do is you come out that doorway, and you could just cut the chain, but since I missed it, we'll just shoot the chain, and get the item to drop. 
Another humanity. Always good. Let's see here. Okay, we don't have that key yet either. So, I guess we're going to go do the graveyard first. And for this part, you want to be in human form because there is an NPC invader here. But just to make things easier... Oh, bullshit. Clear out the hollows. It's best to do it as quick as you can before he comes. Uh, let's see, there's a few items. Large soul. I think he doesn't actually spawn until you come out here. There he is. Yeah, he spawns up there at the top. Now, this guy's a pyromancer, so that's what all his moves are. But he has, like, no armor. So, I mean, you can get up and stagger him, like, really easily. He drops the notched whip, which is, you know, the same as the regular whip that we picked up back in Blight Town, only it has notches on it. There's another soul item. Oh no, Acid Surge. Is, that's actually one of his pyromancies that he can do. Alright. The graveyard is clear. We got the phalanx. We need to get the key for that. And to acquire said key, we've got to go do this over here. Um, yeah. Just a hollow. Got a couple more that come up. What'd you drop? Yeah, broken straight sword. And this is... You could also cut the chain here, because that's the beginning where I pointed out that I shot it already. But, yeah, you can cut it over there, too. Damn, we got 70,000 souls right now. Um, let's see, there's the stairs where we just came up. Okay, this next part... Ah, fuck, I forgot about this part. Okay. So, there are two ways you can start this next little section. There's a well down here, or you can enter it this, where was it? Yeah, or you can enter it this way. I'm gonna go this way. Because this is technically where we need to be at. Now we've got the bone wheel skeletons that we already dealt with from the catacombs. Oh, no. I don't want to climb up. I see another one over there. Yeah. Get him to see me. Pull him down into here. Yeah, and without a shield, these guys can be a particular pain in the ass. Let's see here. I don't see any more for the moment. Oh no, there's another one. And there's one right there too, actually. Okay, I see three more in here. And if your item discoveries, you know, okay, 
uh, they'll actually drop a shield, which is essentially just a bone wheel like that. It's uh, it's a pretty good shield. It's got a lot of stability. I think we're almost done with these guys. Oh, bullshit. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, strategy with them is just kind of, you know, keep your guard up, get out of the way. Let them try to hit a wall. Got him. Got a soul of a brave warrior here. All right. Now, technically, we did it backwards, but... This is the handle that rotates this statue here. And it opens up the path to the boss fight. Let me just make sure there was nothing else over here. I don't think there was. Okay, yeah. Because we came in from that way. Now here, we have a hidden wall. And there's several other hidden walls. There's another bone wheel down here. Without a shield, those guys can really fuck things up. Okay, let's see. There's another path there. This is where he started, and there's nothing that way. Okay, so path that way. And then path to the right, which we just opened up. Another bone wheel. God damn it. There we go. Another path there. And there's the key we were looking for. So now, got another hidden wall. That just takes us right back to the... One room. We got another bone wheel hiding over here. Bullshit. Get him. There we go. Only problem to having a big fucking sword like this is it doesn't do well in tight corridors like that. Oh yeah, here's another one of those egg guys. He's not hostile. And when you kill him, I can't remember what he drops. Let's see here. And toxic. Use our moss. Oh yeah, he has another pyromancy, fire surge. Okay, that's all that is down here. Nope, wrong way. Yeah, that's where we picked up the key. That's where we just came from. Yeah, this place gets really fucking confusing. Luckily, it's not that big. So. Now that we grabbed all the goodies. We come back up. jumped all right and with that annex key that we just picked up we can open this door get 
this guy. Damn it. Now, if you do it right, you can, you know, roll out of the way before that guy gets you. This is how we pick up the Velka's Rape here. Like I said, you can't drop down and get it this way. So, yeah, break the boards over here. Um, let's see. There's two more of those guys down there, and I got two moss left. Alright. Oh, yeah, and then there's this one. Okay, luckily we were far enough away. There's another harpy here. I'll trade the hit. Vow of Silence. Pretty good miracle. I thought more harpies came when you picked up the item, but I guess not, which is good. Now, we come along here and grab this the uh it's like the black cleric set it's actually the armor set that oswald was uh was wearing okay so we did that now we can come down this way That one's gonna shoot his stupid fire. Let's pull this one. Nice. Didn't get toxic. Now, let's run up. Get rid of that, because I think that's the last one. And here we have the Dark Ember, which I'm trying to remember what the Dark Ember does. I think the Dark Ember allows you to make your weapons raw. But you give that one to Andre as well. You know what? I think we might have actually cleared out all the Harpies already. But normally when you grab that item, a couple Harpies will come down. And that is basically it for... The level except for the boss um, no that's our way up yeah we gotta go down uh, we have two humanities I'm contemplating whether or not I should just go Kindle so Nah, I don't think we need to. What other healing items do I have? I don't think I have any. Well, I mean, I could use humanities to heal, but I don't like doing that. I might do that though actually okay but since we got the boss area open you know what I don't want to lose those souls either fuck it we'll go to the bonfire real quick I probably won't kindle but I'll at least level up because on the off chance she does kill me I don't want to lose 80,000 souls that's like a few levels right here So yeah, we got our shortcut back to our bonfire. How many levels can I do? Four? Yeah, we'll throw those all into endurance for now. Jesus Christ, am I really only getting two points of stamina per level? Okay. Or how much health am I getting? You know what? Our endurance is okay where it's at, so I'll throw those into health. Health is always a good choice. Okay. 
Yeah, just gotta deal with these hollows at the front. There's one more. Come on, fucker. Where's the torch guy? I don't see him, but fuck it. Luckily, the phalanx is really slow, so we can just run right past him. Doesn't mean they won't throw a fucking spear at you. Don't think any of the harpies will come down. Now, the path to the boss, not too bad. You got archers, you know, just swerve out of the way of their arrows. But the problem is, is they've got guys hiding here on the sides. Ow. Oh, motherfucker. Really? And with this one, yeah, you got four of them that pop up. Ow. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was gonna talk about him in a second. Another tower guardian. Or tower knight. Ow. Come on, do your overhead slash. Whatever. You know what? There we go. Fuck him. Just go aggressive. What'd you drop? Large titanite. Okay. Just be a little careful. You can fall. I think... Yeah, I think we're clear. Now, real quick, I'm gonna take off the blooming purple, and we are gonna put some fire bombs on our bar because with this boss fight, she will turn invisible, and the trick to getting her to reveal herself is to hit her with fire. Now, if you have your pyromancy, then that's like the way to go. But I don't even have an attunement slot, so I couldn't use pyromancy even if I wanted to. So we're gonna use fire bombs. And I'm still starting the boss fight with fucking three flasks. You know what? Just to be safe, I'll throw Humanities there too if I need them. But she's not particularly hard. Here she is, Crossbreed Priscilla. Who you can talk to her. One of us thou art not. If thou hast misstepped into this world, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. If thou seekest I, thine desires shall be requited not. And what she means is you can literally just walk past her and leave. Thou must return it whence thou came. But this land is peaceful. Its inhabitants kind. Peaceful my thou ass. Not belong. I beg of thee. Plunge down from the plank and hurry home. So we are gonna fight her. She is like half dragon, half human, I know. Like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. But, you can cut off her tail. Hopefully we can get it for another dragon weapon. So, we're gonna try. Nope. So, like I said, she'll turn invisible. And the trick to seeing where she is, is you will see her footprints in the snow. See, there she comes. Nope, didn't work. Okay, there she is. Bullshit. And yeah, she'll hit you for bleed. Okay, she's still like right here. God damn it. See, and this is why pyromancy is a bit easier to use for this. Because... Bullshit, that should have hit her.
Why could thou not What the fuck see? ever? Didst thou not see why Ariamis created this one? Okay. So that didn't really go as planned. Fuck. Luckily, we can just, you know, haul ass back there. But I think I'm going to do that at the beginning of the next episode. So, yeah, next time we're going to beat Priscilla and continue with and Orlando. We probably won't make it to the next boss in that video, but we'll uh we'll knock out the good majority of An Orlando next time after we get out of here. So um if you guys like the video be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Also feel free to leave any comments. Once again, I'm LeBron Games and I'll see you guys next time.